Okay, are we good? Am I alive? How is the volume? I did some adjustments because listening to previous streams, I am too loud compared to the game or the game is too quiet compared to me. Okay, we need to make some further adjustments. Please let me know. I'm gonna turn it down on my end. You know, this uh, has nothing to do really with anything, except I like how Papyrus has one eye slightly larger than the other. It's very like King Carol Earthworm Jim sort of vibes. Oh right, we're here! We're in the hotel! The only hotel I'm gonna get to visit this year. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. <clears throat> I already lost my voice! Black. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Oh, you don't have different dialogue the second time around. Whatever. Your shoes. I also love the fountain spraying on the floor. It's so, so gleeful to be making a mess. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Okay, you guys don't say something different. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. I like your eyes moving back and forth, which reminds me of a cat clock. You know, those, we had one. It kind of creeped me out, honestly. As a slime, I'm outraged. What about as, uh, not a slime? How do you feel then? Whoa, room service? Got my CT? Uh, no. Then, uh, can't help you there. It's locked from the inside. Whoa, room service? Got my cinnamon bun? No. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put, hi, Snaily. How's it going? I put a hot dog in front of the door. A white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room, but it keeps pressing down too hard, and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. Thanks. I have any more hot dogs. But you didn't have anything appealing. What did I get here? Hush puppy. 65 HP. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. No put. Seems busy. Oh. Learning how to draw? Come to the art lessons on the second floor. Located in a similar place. Uh, so this event, I've never actually done. I think the only time you can do it is sometime on October 10th, so just kind of missed the ball there. Oops. What did it do with the hot dog? Well, you're gonna have to use your imagination, aren't you? Where do we get CT again? I want to say Gerson Shop? Maybe we can go get some of that. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G a room. Interested? Sure. Fabulous! We'll escort you to your room. Oh, yeah, this is... Heck yeah. You ever see... Oh, hello, Onion Squad. Or should I just call you Onion? You ever see one of those anime screenshots where... It's like two characters sitting on a bed that is probably the size of a small city block. That's what I'm thinking about here. It's a lamp. There's no light switch. It says that stars make their own light. Two, uh, 200 G what? You think that's a lot in the monster economy? It's some sort of giant bottle of perfume. Eau de rectangle. Sorry, eau de rectangle. The cap is so comically large you can't open it. 
Onion and Dawn is my favorite side dish. Here we go. Welcome to MDT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day! Trademark. Are you okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. The customer is always right. How can I help you, old customer? I will take a glam burger. Although I am intrigued by the steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Don't ask. Please. Thanksy! Have a fabulous full day! So do you want it or not? No, I got mine. Stop. You can talk to me now? Why? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So! I wanted to be an actor! Take it from me, little buddy. I've still got the voice good, because I don't quite remember it. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just going to take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out under the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Metaton is your favorite. Naps to Blue is cool too. Both excellent choices. I know we've got some Metaton fans in here for sure. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, That's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating burgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is it TT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that mouth. Anything else you need? Anytime, little buddy. Burger pants is, I'm not gonna say aspirational, but relatable, certainly. Speaking of never talking to attractive people. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Oh. I guess I should have talked to these go goyles first, but I forgot because I saved inside the hotel. I did stand at the fountain last stream, Carrie. Just for you, even though you weren't here. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, Caddy, don't you have any standards? No. Okay, like, the annoying thing is... He'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. 
but he just acts really weird. And then acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those clam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, gonna share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy! Oh yeah, about you two. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Psych. <laughs> Burger Pants is not vented to anyone in a while. I mean, you know, customer service, you gotta keep that face, that persona up. The whole time, so boy, when you get an opening to be a little bit more real, oh, it just pours out like water gushing from that fountain of Metaton. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive, but like the stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. Caddy lives her life without apologies. Catharsis? You mean catharsis? Eh, no, that's bad. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or. We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Yeah, these, these girls are living their best life. Being BFFs, digging through the trash. Why do we get the garbage? Like, a garbage store, duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> oh my god, Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're both like, already married to him. He just, like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alpha's built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alpha's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever! Origin about Metaton. Old? Oh my god, Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you to trips to takes you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're like, god, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Good girls. Has a big bite out of it. Probably to someone's house, lol. Give me. Braddy, we're gonna be rich! I could have sworn you could have, like, given them a glam burger. Like, see you later. Like, later and stuff. Maybe I'm misremembering? She found a gun in the dumpster. Yeah, amazing idea. Sell it on the junk alleyway black market. Well, I mean... Monsters don't take damage like humans do. It's fine. It's not like she has any bullets. Bury me energy. Imagine thinking Alphys is straight. <laughs> so hype for the destruction of humanity. Um, do I want to get the CT and the cinnamon bun right now? Maybe we could. I guess. 
don't think it's too much of a detour. Oh, well, that's a detour. Elevator is this way. Help if I actually went in the elevator. So how you guys doing, huh? I am glad to be here streaming for y'all. I'm um, hopefully I'm a little more alert than I was last stream. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Can't figure out baby puzzles because I'm tired. Hello, river river person. I would like to ride your boat. Um, let's go to Snowden. Whoosh. The entire game is good tuned. Yes. Tra la la, tree lily, tra la la. Beautiful. The struggle is real. Ah. <sighs> Oh, your stupid sick came back. Oh, I'm sorry, Snaily. Come again sometime. Tra la la. That's disappointing. Bunch of hot garbage, that is, to use a technical term. I mean, not the kind of garbage that you dig in and find a loaded. Uh, sorry, not a loaded gun. Just you find a gun in general. That is not where I want to go. I want to go here. Okay, I would like a cinnamon bun. Caring too much, heck. All right, I can't even sell here. <laughs> Let me put some stuff in my box. Uh, I'm not gonna use the mystery key right away, so I can put that away. Um, sure, fine, it's good. Yeah, you can say hi as many times as you want. I like to think this stream is small but very welcoming. At least I try to make it that way. You folks better behave now. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a long time to be feeling under the weather. Well, I hope I can provide at least a little solace. Oh! Look at the boat! What is the, like, the, the figurine on the front of a boat called? I can't remember. Like, the masthead? You know how you would see an, oh, legs. You would see on old sailing vessels, like, a carving of a mermaid on the front or something? Tra-la-la, Tammy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Way ahead of you, buddy. But thank you. Okay, I just gotta remember where Gerson is relative to this. Oh, right here. How convenient. I think he has, yeah, CT. Here we go. Cool. Timmy Village isn't far from here, right? I could s I still got those Tem flakes. Meh. I don't want to be faffing about. Let's just go back to Hotland. I don't know why we're putting forth all this effort for room service. We should get a good tip for it. I mean, you know how ludicrously expensive room service is? The piano plays the tinkling song. Hmm. Tinkling. Yep. Deep thoughts, that. <sighs> oh, I'm glad I can provide a nice distraction. Yeah, everyone here is very nice. And if not, we're gonna have some words. But most of the people here I've known for quite a while, so I can vouch for them. You bunch of rapscallions, you. Okay, uh, right for three, I think is correct. Gosh, what have I been up to lately, aside from working? There's a, a lot of snow outside right now. I don't know what it's like for the rest of you. Okay, okay. Bunch of rowdy hooligans. That wasn't my plate, so you can break as many as you want. Alright, here's your CT. You pour the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want! Here's a tip. I got 99G. Thanks, that's a nice profit. Shkorp. 
Oh wait, this is this is the dog door. No point. Oh, room service! Here's your cinnamon bun. You flatten the cinnamon bun until it's paper thin. You slide it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want! Here's a tip. Cool. We did a good deed. I think? Maybe? Actually, maybe we should get a job in hospitality. Anyway, let's go back north. Oh, I've jostled my laptop. I'm scared every time I do it that it's gonna mess up my microphone. But yeah, we've got a lot of snow here. It's been, I think with the wind chill earlier today, it was minus 14 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is Fahrenheit. Oh. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. I like the music here. It's very faint echoing of the hotel theme. You know, it also was really good music, though. Heck yeah. Ready? This is it! Take the elevator up to the top of the core! The elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Aw, oh, that's okay. You don't have to type fast at all. You be chill. Take as much time as you need. We don't judge grammar and spelling here. Only when I mess up, then you can make fun of me. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Uh, forget it. Let's try the other side. Are you sure? I want to just throw myself into the fire. I mean, as I said, there's a lot of snow outside. Maybe I'm cold. Yes. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Oh, these look like hot dogs. Watch out! Magic pops out of its hat. This magical mercenary only says magic words. Hocus pocus. Whoa, whoa. Magic whispers arcane swear words. Teach us the swears, magic. Magic interrupts you by chattering to itself. Its gibberish dizzies you. Your defense drops by one. Abracadabra. Whoa, whoa, look at look at my controls are all reversed. Well, you can't tell, but you can see the heart is spinning. You still feel confused. You should eventually return to this game. You should probably avoid watching these so you can look at it with somewhat fresh eyes when you destroy yourself. Well, if you do the fun run, um, I mean, it'll be quite different, so... Where to stare? Chaser Orb. The unrelenting Chaser Orb was weakened by your glare. Please and thank you. Ah, jeez. I guess my controls are still... Whoa, wonky. Magic believes you're a fellow wizard. Well, obviously. You think of pollen and sunshine. Your confusion abates. Your defense increased by two. Alakazam! I, I trained in Alakazam once in Pokemon Diamond, and I found it kind of disappointing. Psychic types always let me down. That was close! Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Mori is worth it. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. Huh? It's a force field, but not like a journalistic or culinary force field. Oops. I didn't expect it to come so soon. I thought it would come when I walked on here. Oh my god, are you okay? I... I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. I don't know, Alphys. When you say everything's fine, I don't know if I believe it. A crossroads. Uh... Uh... Try heading to the right. Is this gonna be another pit of fire? Wait! 
No, I think you should head up. Why don't you just stay on the speakerphone, Alphys? Night Night blocks the way. This Megaton mercenary wields the good morning star. Reminds me of Ow, Super Mario World's the castle in um, Chaco Valley. Night Knight's armor emits a dark sheen, with like those giant spike pillars that pop out of the walls and floor. You ask Night Knight about her day. There's no response. Adieu. You know, I'm glad that we get the core music and not just regular combat music. Night Knight breathes deeply. You sing Shiren's song. Night Night starts to look sleepy. Whoa. Oh, hey, uh, Snaily, if you still have questions about Toho, you should ask Carrie here. Because she knows quite a bit about Toho. You ask Night Night about her day. There's no response. Still, no, okay. We'll do this in the wrong order, I think. Sing again, I think. You keep singing. Night Night falls asleep. Perfect. See ya. Sorry, I. I. I thought that. Let's try the right path instead. Yeah, Alphys is doing her best. I can't fold her for that. I used to have pretty bad anxiety, so I can sympathize. More lasers. Okay, I I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're... They're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I... It's okay. I have this under control. I'm gonna turn off the power for that whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go! Alright, go, 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 go. Alphys, what? Wait! Stop! The power! It's turning itself back on! Damn it! This isn't supposed to... I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Why don't we even have all these lasers? See? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Get this lizard tea in a blanket. Yes? Okay! You should... You should... I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I... I... I have to go. Jeez, Alphys. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination. North, the warrior's path. West, the sage's path. Any path leads to the end. Does this also say the same thing, or? East, the end. So I guess that just goes to the end. It's the sage's path. Oh, hey! It's those ice cubes that the wolf dude was throwing. Getting snowed in. Solve this puzzle and the end will open. Oh jeez. I got two shots. Okay. Well, I'm marginally more awake today, so maybe it will be better? Yeah. Oh wait, no, no. I didn't mean to... I might have to reset the puzzle. Oh. Nope, we're good. Cool. Yay! Alpha's child, I know you're stressed, but watch your profanity! I know, right? This is a PG stream. I, I don't know what this stream is rated, actually. Ooh, garbage. Why not relax and have a nice snack? There's a glam burger inside the trash can. Cool. It's the only place to get a glam burger, really. It's fresh from the trash. Traverse the northern room, and the end will open. Uh-oh. Another hot dog. Whimsalot and Final Frog had appeared. It finally stopped worrying. I've made my choice. 
whoa, whoa, ah, jeez, ah, jeez, jeez. Wounds a lot flutter silently. You kneel and pray for safety. Wims a lot remembers its conscience. Don't give up. Skip. Jump. Ugh. Wims a lot doesn't want to fight anymore. Well, that's more manageable. Whoosh. Final Froggit jumps ominously up and down. Yeah, Toho Project of Reading Carries is a series of Don Maku known in Western circles as Bullet Hell Games. They are set in the fictional world of Gensokyo, which exists parallel to the human world. So sort of like Undertale's Bullet Hell fights, except a lot more. Mystify? You did something mysterious. Final Frog it recognizes it has more to learn from this world. At least, like, let up on your, your flies. Ah, jeez. I want to check it first. Its future looks brighter and brighter. Rob it, rob it. I mean, while I'm not being threatened by both Froggit and Whims a lot, I can check its act stuff, right? Compliment! You compliment Final Froggit. It understood you perfectly. Its attack dropped. Nod, nod. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Reality bending. Threaten. You threaten, Final Frog. It, it understood you perfectly. It's defense drop. I feel bad about this. Shudder, shudder. This frog is just trying to live its life. Why am I so mean to it? It's sweet. Doing parlor tricks for frogs. need like a super robust heal here. 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. I forgot I never looked at the description here. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. I'll eat some ice cream. Cool. Mercenaries emerge from the shadows. Starts to look sleepy. Oh, uh, jeez. But yeah, Toho is a lot more uh, complex than this. And again, I haven't played Toho before. I've seen some of it. I know some of it secondhand. Um, if you've played Deltarune Snaily, uh, the Gray's mechanic that Deltarune has um, is something uh, that Toho uses where you up your score by getting very close to bullets so they're grazing your character's hitbox. I forget if I have to talk to it first or... Well, okay, now I'm just dizzy. I'm still- oh, okay, it's- it's good, though. Woohoo. Your friend just looked over your shoulder and stated that you must really enjoy escargot. What is escargot? Yeah, escargot is snail! It's just the French word for snail. I've had it before. It's often served with butter. I've never had it not with butter. Maybe like some bread for dipping. What a nightmare! I like astigmatism's design. Like the teeth, and then the eyeball. Don't pick on me! Oh, geez. There's so much happening here! You've seen enough. Woof! Final frog it. Woof. Astigmatism gives you a hypnotizing glare. Parlor trick for a frog. What? What? Uh, why did I just roll into that? You used to eat escargot on occasion when you were younger, but you probably wouldn't eat it again? No? It seems like one of those foods that would be very easy to be put off of if you had a bad batch of it. This relentless bully always gets its way. Whoops. Astigmatism clicks its teeth. You pick on astigmatism. How dare you! What are you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. I'm the most powerful bully around. Astigmatism has gone bloodshot. 
I have tried potato pancakes. Um, I know I've had, gee, I think latka is the Jewish version. I think I've had the um, Ukrainian version too. They might also be called latka. I'm not sure, but they're also very tasty. It's not something I could eat a lot of though because fried foods make me sick. You don't pick on astigmatism. Finally, someone gets it. But I mean, I love and cherish potatoes in all of their forms. Astigmatism doesn't care about fighting anymore, but I'm gonna challenge it first. You stand up to astigmatism. You dare defy me? I mean, you're not really fighting back that... that potently. Whoop. Okay. Oh, I can't spare it anymore. I guess because I challenged it. That's fair. Okay, here we go. You booted up Toho in the background? Oh boy. Well, good luck, Carrie. Which Toho are you playing? You know, it's fitting the last time we talked about pancakes. I suppose it's apt that we talk about potato pancakes now. Alright. There's a hundred G inside the trash can. Heck yes. Trash cash. I think this is the right way. I cannot fight. I cannot think. But with patience, I will make my way through. To the east, this is the end. Number 16, Hidden Star in Four Seasons. Oh, it's you again. Do I have to pick on it first and then... Oh, okay, we're good. Back to the potato praise and pancake and waffle topping talk, are we? I suppose we are. We didn't talk about waffles last time. Uh, what do you... Do you like uh, anything on your waffles, everybody? Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're filled with determination. I guess I can move some stuff in my inventory for the box. Look at that snowman piece. Very important that we don't lose that. Even though they're not really seeing the underground because they're sitting in a box. But I, again, am a heathen. I like my waffles plain. <laughs> you'll accept syrup. You'll accept fruit jam. Hello, Rue. You're just in time for a show. Oh, yes. There you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction. Reprogramming. Get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. All so you would think she's the great person that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? Hey! What's going on? The door just locked itself! Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Uh-oh. Real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. 
on our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. I'm not even wearing any, like, makeup or anything. I'm not set for the stage. Somebody do my hair. Seriously, his metal body is invulnerable. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. Oh no. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Metaton. I like that your comment MTT is kind of rude and then mm, crunchy as if they're related to one another. Are they? Burn. This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this matter. Listen, darling. I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Oh no. Now you're making me work? But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll wish you were in the audience instead of on stage. Hello, Ryfam. Think of Paper Mario thoughts again. Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That show business, baby. About time, Alphys. Uh, uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around, um, and, um, press the switch, he'll be, um, he'll be vulnerable. Well, gotta go. Have a good night. I hope you feel better. Seems like a good time to turn Metaton around. Swish, you tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right, I have to look perfect for a grand finale. Hmm, I don't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? If you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Metaton X makes his premiere. Legs, legs, legs! His weak point is his heart-shaped core. Lights, camera, action! Look at all these legs! Oh, I shouldn't have stopped that. Oh well, hey, violence making the ratings go up. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. Drama, romance, bloodshed. Oh, I took damage. Oh, I forgot the little robot fell as fire on me. I lost ratings to disappointed people. You eat the astronaut food. 
I'm the idol everyone craves. Oops. Nope, that works. It's Pose! You pose dramatically. The audience nods. Smile for the camera. Uh, heel turn? You turn and scoff at the audience. They're rooting for your destruction this turn. Ooh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. What do you love most about you? That's right, legs was the correct answer. I guess I can't use the X or Z key, so... A whiz! Or essay! Metaton is saving your essay for future use. I'm not gonna get ahead at all! Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Just warming up. Oh, I wish there was like a turbo button. Uh oh. Firing at me from off screen. Uh, Kaliz is from Paper Mario, which I streamed just before this, actually. There's a reoccurring character called Chuck Quizmo that just shows up and gives you a quiz, and he always prefaces it with Kaliz! So, that's why. But how are you on the dance floor? I'm very good. See my strategies. You just stay perfectly still? Oh, uh, what the heck? Actually, could I shoot it and reverse the direction? I didn't think about it. Well, next time. Let's boast. Can you keep up the pace? Aha, uh -huh, okay, yes. Well, now I know. Lights! Camera! Bombs! You haven't played any ma- oh. oh. I forgot those explode that fast. You haven't played any paper or Mario. Well, someday you gotta fix that, Snaily. I mean, if that would be something you're interested in. Okay, the things are blowing up. There we go, that's better. Time for our union regulated break! Happy break time! Alright, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. It smells like Metaton. Slow down, buddy! You say you aren't yet gonna get hit at all. Yeah, those legs are incredible, huh? Sick dance moves. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? You must have a very impressive, um, oh gosh, what are those things that help? A gyroscope? Yes. Oops, I broke him. Kinda. Uh, arms! Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win! Alright, bombs. Alright, I guess I don't have to hit the bombs, I can just shoot the blocks, huh? Whoop. Instant noodles? You remove the instant noodles from their packaging. You put some water in the pot and place it on the heat. You wait for the water to boil. <laughs> Should have done this during the happy break time, huh? It's boiling! You place the noodles into the pot. Four minutes left until the noodles are finished. Three minutes left until the noodles are finished. Man, the ratings are still high though. Two minutes left until the noodles are finished. Maybe it's I'm doing like an ASMR cooking video or something. 
one minute left until the noodles are finished. The noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. You had the flavor packet. That's better. Not great, but better. Four HP. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to... Bad, bad, bad. Ugh. Oh, heck. Oh, no! You know what? I deserve that for the noodles. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I forgot they only restored like 4 HP. The stick? Uh, oh, did I sell it? I forgot you could do something with the stick. No! Yeah, I think I sold the stick. No! The eyes ever, guys ever keep your eyes open too long and then when you close them your eyes burn. Oh yes! I could skip Metaton's monologue by turning him around now. I'll skip. You told Metaton there was something cool behind him. Really? Where? Clever. Very clever. Really, I'm just showing off all of his dialogue. <laughs> I ain't even mad. I think it's funny. Oh. I should have known. I Well, I'd forgotten that the noodles don't restore very much health. Um, until, like, as I started making them, I realized, oh wait, these only restore, like, 3 HP or something. That's okay, we can write another essay, so... That's not all bad, right? I'll not mention the legs and see if he says anything else. I wasn't ready for my close-up, is the problem. Compliment his hair. Oh, I could do that. Good idea. Here we go. My hair. Yes, I use metal hair gel. Oh, Columbia is cooking is a good one, too. Sorry about the typos. <laughs> I'm sure you can pick up what I was putting down, right? There we go. What does Metaton smell like? Burnt circuitry? Oh, the rectangle, I guess. <laughs> now I know how this one works better, so... The lady, lady would be good at just dance. I've never played that, but he'd probably be good at it without any arms, so... I'm the master dancer. I'm just standing here the stony expression on my face. Uh, oh, okay, I do have to move. Um, one time my brother and I went zip lining, and we did this thing where uh, they would have us do different falls off the platform, and they had us do a trust fall at one point. And so everybody, um, you know, fell over backwards and reflexively they all went, ah, you know, because you're falling. But when I did it, I didn't emote or say anything at all. I was dead silent and my brother made fun of me for it. What are you, a robot? I knew it would catch me. Here's the break time. Well, it's a tough fight, Snaily. Slow down, Metaton. You're gonna, you're gonna like burn out a circuit or something. How about another heart to heart? Well, you're not a fan of heights? I'm not bothered by heights, but, like, I don't like climbing on a ladder to retrieve things at work. Oh, heck. Um, that always makes me a little nervous. Like, I'm worried I'm gonna fall when trying to retrieve something. Okay. Uh, arms! Oh, 
Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Alright, fucking Maybe I should have blown up the, the bombs? No, we're good, okay. Come on! Uh, okay, no, I should blow up the boxes with the bombs, I think. Best. I don't want to screw this up again. Um, oh, I think if I eat a glam burger, it makes my ratings go up. Yeah! You eat the glam burger! The audience loves the brand! Your HP was maxed out. The show must go on! Oh, These bombs are making me want to play Bomberman, honestly. Drama! Uh, action! Aw, oh, dang. Look at my ratings, though. That's pretty good. The lights! Camera! Enough of this! Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Both? <laughs> How inspiring! Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Well. What? Legs. Should I heal again or is he is he done? Oh, look at these ratings. Your brother your brother beat this fight by slowly waiting for the ratings to get super. How do you do that? I thought they'd go down during your turn while you're not doing anything. This is the most viewers I've ever had! Well, here's your underground census. We've reached the viewer call in Milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. No, wait, wait, bl uh, They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton-shaped heart. Uh, I... I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to prote protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best, anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and... Well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. About time. I... I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Metaton! Metaton, are you... Th 
Thank God. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If he messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I... I just need a moment. Out of batteries. I guess I can't leave the way I came. Ah, Blooky. I'm glad they got the call in. No stage presence, though. Oh, well, hello. S sorry about that. Let's keep going. <laughs> so you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be... Pretty excited about all that, huh? You'll finally... You'll finally get to go home. Eh? Wait! I mean, uh... I... I was just going to... Um... Say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul... and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Well, that's a sobering thought. I was gonna say no problem, but I mean, this isn't Mario RPG. We have not killed anyone before. I mean, we did slap that dog in the bomb defusal segment, but it's different. It doesn't have feelings. Here we go. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Back in the ruins. It's a golden flower. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You remember it getting louder and louder as you went through this part, just hollering. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. I will help myself to this key and put it on my phone's keychain. The stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Just cans of snails, that's right. Dusty toys. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Mm-hmm. Heart locket. It says, best friends forever. A worn dagger inside the box. Why is this here? 
perfect for cutting plants and vines. Maybe I should have bought more stuff, huh? Well. Oh, hang on, I still have the... A lot of striped shirts in here. It's a twin size bed. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. It's a drawing of a golden flower. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. Your heart always gets a little tender when this titular song here starts playing. Yeah. Room under renovations. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay. Despite everything, it's still you. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. It's a trophy! Number one Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. It's a king-size bed. A lot of flowers. Changing water in the vases must take ages. I feel like whomever lives here may have a lot of time on their hands. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day. The next day. The human died. Asriel. Racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. Have a good night. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. 
the humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Good on items and stuff, right? Eh, good enough. Maybe. Let's find out. Huh? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. With you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gain love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you are about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. There's a thing here if you like quit the game and reload repeatedly, but that would take a bit. So I'm not gonna do it for now. Please forgive. Throne room. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Mori. It's empty. Uh oh. I don't like that. Ominous. Well, I might even be wrong about the bonus dialogue. Reloading without having saved. 
uh, I can try doing it. If you guys don't mind waiting a second, I suppose. Let me, let me try and see what happens, hey? Or the game is gonna vanish for a second. And then I'm gonna load it back up. It's been so long, I used to have all of these, like, Easter eggs and stuff memorized. I'm just gonna... Sorry, you can see the mouse. Okay, it's... Oh, we're not getting... Hang on. Okay, just wanted to make sure that the, the game reloaded properly. I don't want to cause problems with OBS. Well, there he is again. Finally made it, uh huh. I'm hoping I did this right, but if I didn't, then, well. Uh huh. Same speech. Uh huh. I feel like this isn't right, like he would have said something different by now. But I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? I suspected something like this. You're always acting like you know what's gonna happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Okay, we're gonna quit the game again. Cool. And then uh, we're gonna load back up. I guess maybe it's a good thing we did this. Um, hang on a sec. I just have to change the window size here. I have to use an outside program to change the window size for this because uh, the windowed version of this is very tiny. There we go. You still see in here, right? For you, Carrie. Anything for you. And that goes for the rest of you, too. Within reason. I will not kill for you. Sorry. I don't want to raise my love. <laughs> These bells remind me of something. But I can't think of what... I want to say like the beginning of Final Fantasy IX. Here we go. Huh? Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? This is broadcasting, right? Right? I'm just checking OBS. Yes? Okay. I would assume you have audio, too, because no one's yelled at me yet. Did you just say, I'm a stupid doo-doo butt? Wow. I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Don't don't do like the no lights in your eyes thing, Sans. It's really creepy. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Okay, I guess we kind of do it again. Oh boy. Well, I don't know why I bothered changing the window size. I thought three times was enough. Where are your eyes, sir? Put them back. They rolled into the back of his skull. It's amazing how just like a small detail makes them exponentially more unsettling. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we can continue and then I will bother to resize the window. Just in case. Don't want to waste time. Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? 
Did you just say, I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Why would you think that was a secret, secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word. What you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. Well, thank you, Sans. Now, I'm gonna resize the window. But we won't go back there right now, of course. We have Asgore to visit with, right? I'm sure everything is gonna go great. Pardon me if you can see the mouse briefly while I resize things. Perfect. Yeah, it's not even it's not even here, it's just already on my keychain. So somebody remind me later to go visit Sans' room. Boop. Here we go. Dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I really cruise through this game to be here already. You weren't slow. I mean, I played it before, and you were playing it blind, so. It's a throne. Hi, Boogie. You're just in time. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Incidentally, the mention of how when... Asriel died, and his dust spread everywhere. It kind of brings to light, or I guess puts a different spin on things when you examine them, and it says they're dusty, like the dusty stuff in Alphys' lab, for instance. Don't worry about it. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. That doesn't help, Asgore. It really doesn't. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. You know, something about this is hitting different today, in this day and age, compared to what's going on this year. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. For now, let's continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye.
Asgore, you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oops. Oh, that was very silly. Jeez. Why, well, I'm really beans in it right now. If you eat the noodles here, incidentally, you won't cook them. They're better dry. Your HP was maxed out. I do have a pie. twice in the next turn. Scotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Oh, heck. That subterranean animism, animism pattern is pretty hard to process along the S curves. Yeah. I guess that's also very Toho, huh? Remember you used the pie accidentally when you fought him, or at least not knowing what would happen. Dang, I love this music. And a, a game full of incredible boss tunes, this one really stands out. damage now. What? 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 Carrie's cat stop being hooligans. Oh, the S curse again. Ugh. Gonna play it safe and use an item. Asgore has low HP. Is the next hit gonna finish him off and then I'm gonna waste his lamb burger? Oh, well. 
Welcome back, Snaily. Although, I'm sorry about the nausea. Yeah, that did it. I wasted a berg. Oh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Jeez, I can't. Aren't they made of actual glue, glitter, and sequins? That's right. 100% beef free. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Hey! No! You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. Uh, uh oh. Well, the game just closed itself. Good thing I don't have to fiddle with my OBS settings. But I do have to fix the window size. I'll do that after. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, the... Uh, oh. Hmm. Uh. Flowey? Flowey? Huh? It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gotten past him! But now, with your help, he's dead! And I've got the human souls! <laughs> Boy! I've been empty for so long! It feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel them wriggling. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. 
But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot! Window size is still tiny. Oh, uh -oh. I'm going to die. Flowey, stop. Size the window. Uh, walk into everything, that's right. Oh, I can't see. Collect, come back. Huh. Hey, don't load. Don't save scum, you dirtbag. Only I get to do that. Stop. Oh, the face in the TV is not Toby Fox. It's, um,. Shows up, I think, in a Tally Hall video, if memory serves. But it's not Toby, I don't think. <sighs> if you've been paying attention, do you recognize the things that have been attacking us? The ballet shoes? The gloves? Hey! You're not even 
good at safe scumming. Dumpster gun. Uh. This is not healing enough, dumpster gun. background. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Oh, this is weird. Now the window is big and I can see better. Happening. You, you. You idiot. Stop. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You call for help.
but nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. What? How would you... Well, I'll just... Nah, love failed. Where are my powers? The souls. What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! one you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand! I just... Understand. Flowey ran away. Hmm. The wind effects there are dramatic as duck. <laughs> That's the one way to get around the sensor. You should say hi to Claire there, because they come into the stream sometimes, whenever you see them. I wish my Japanese was good enough to play through the Japanese localization, but I'm still learning. I didn't notice Omocat designed Washua. Huh, that's cool. This ending feels even ruder after the Delta Room demo, huh? Oh, hello. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, what if we're not giving up down here? But don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the queen disbanded the royal guard since we don't have to fight humans anymore. 
Wow! I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. Then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Adgor. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible, but I'd like to believe it's not, because I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again, even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. I just banned the Royal Guard. Don't you need a basic police force? Maybe they got one that's different from the Royal Guard. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. And now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So, I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well... In the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. What do you want from me, Flower? Well. So we are here. Um, I do want to call it an evening shortly. However, I'm going to head back a bit. Um... Because perhaps we should try and be better friends with Undyne. I think that might be beneficial. I would like to be friends with a cool fish. Why doesn't the underground just dig straight up? I feel like, yeah, it's probably more complicated than that. But also, I had assumed that the barrier stretches across the entirety of the underground. Something, something magic. How considerate of Flowey and how completely devoid of any ulterior motive... Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but Flowey is actually one of my favorite characters in this game. But I don't want to go into detail exactly as to why, because I think that would spoil quite a bit, potentially. And I don't want to do that. I mean, there's always a chance that people seeing this have never played Undertale before. And I think it's one of those games that you can't really tell someone why it's so good without spoiling it heavily. Kind of like Ghost Trick. Which, boy, I wish I still had the first stream of that saved. I foolishly did not. Uh, but hey, you should play Ghost Trick. It's on the DS. I think you can also get an iOS version of it. I still have all my items. That rules. I don't know if monsters need to breathe. I mean, considering they don't really metabolize like humans do. You know, I'm gonna buy some ice cream while I'm here. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna buy another glam burger while I'm here. Yes, you should play Ghost Trick. This is the truest advice. Thanks. Oh, hey. The girls were talking about me. They say I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just, uh, try to see things from their perspective? Wow. Poor naive little buddy. They've brainwashed you. 
Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh, what time would they want to hang out? I forgot this is how you have to go back and forth between them. Well, why did I do that? And then call it an evening, huh? Some real mood whiplash. Don't you know being nice only gets you hurt did hurt? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that hits too close to home. Bee Pants Hangout? Oh, uh, yeah, he should come look for junk with us. But, like, if we let him hang out with us, I just worry it'll be really super fun. Um, that was not what I was gonna say. But I was close, right? Well, that kind of guy, you hang out with him once, then he wants to hang out all the time. But don't you feel bad for him, Braddy? Hard burger pants? Think about how cool we are compared to him. He'd be saving his life with our friendship. His life, Braddy. Uh, so? Think of all the glam burgers he could get for us. So is he free after work? I think, and then if you go talk to him again. Oh, I guess I could visit Sans's room too, huh? I guess maybe I could do that. And then call it an evening, because I don't want to forget next time. There's so many things to do now. Hey, buddy. They want to hang out after work? <laughs> yes, I won't let you down. Little buddy, thank you. You have brought a tear to the eye of this old man. So, where do they want to go? They want to hang out at the garbage dump. Well, nowhere to go but up, right, little buddy? I don't know if that's the last one or not, but I'll go badger them again. This old man at the age of 19. Boy, oh boy. Sometimes that hits a little too close to home, too. No, okay, that's it. Okay, you guys gotta hang out. Yeah, wasted his whole life behind the counter selling glam burgers. Wrong way. You know, I almost wish that I had bit it during that flowey fight. Because, um, for those unaware, he does crash your game. It's pretty cool. Gosh, I remember the first time I did that fight. It's pretty late at night, too, so it was really startling, I think. Let's go to Snowden. Away, dog boat. So, while I'm here, I'll hang a river person might say something. I heard spiders have a favorite food. It's spiders. Mm -hmm. We learned something new today. Just like human history from last time. Uh, but yes, I'm hoping we can continue this on Tuesday. Um, hoping I'm not going to be totally wiped. But, you know, no promises. Okay. Kind of weird being back here after all of that, huh? Alright. Let me in. You unlock the door and enter. You found your dog count text document or you were digging through the files. What is the final dog count? Sans, what the heck is up with your room? Somebody's gonna turn on the light. And then there's gonna be Metaton. Blech. Sans, have you seen my... Oh, hello. You aren't Sans. Wait a second. Why are you using a treadmill in the dark? Is Sans pranking you across time and space? I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm a genius. All the time. Pay the power bill, Sans. Ah, what is this dump? It's Sansa's dirty sock pile. S scandalous? Are socks scandalous in the underground? Because there was a scandalous comment when you examined Toriel's sock drawer. It appears to be a self-sustaining tornado made of trash. Nice spaghetti. It's a treadmill. There's a message attached. 
The truth is that you got owned, nerd. Wow. Ugh. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put it on your keychain. Nice. It's a lamp. Turn it on. Mm -hmm. There's no light bulb. A flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. Turn it on. The flashlight is out of batteries. Oh. Clothes and trombones are shoved in haphazardly. It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. Oh. It's an uncovered pillow. It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, greasy ball. Sans, you live like this? Sans? Are you okay? No. Total dogs, at least 44 dogs slash dog objects. 42 if you do not count ice block work or hot dogs. Okay, so we have a silver key. Um, you unlocked the door and entered. Surprise, this is where the silver key goes. There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with a lot of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. You look in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. Well, that's weird. I wanted to look at this drawer too, but I guess I can't. Well, take from this what you will. Also, yes, I really like the music here, too. What do you think, huh? What does it mean? Wait, then we go we go right to Snowden's regular music, huh? Mood Whiplash again! Okay, now I'll call it an evening. And next time we'll visit Undyne. So, look forward to being friends? Question mark with a strong fish. Uh, in the meantime, please take care, sleep well. Snaily, I hope you feel better soon. And I will catch you next time, alright? Bye-bye!